Don't everybody you go. thank me. Wow, looks good. The idea. Chewbacca. <laughs> Pokey religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side, kid. You don't believe in the Force, do you? I've never seen anything to make me believe there's one all-powerful Force controlling everything. I think he could show him already something about the Force. With the blast shield down, I can't even see. How am I supposed to fight? Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. Yeah, it's true. So maybe you understand something about the Force now. Blah, blah. There you go. You can do it. I she call it luck. Looks like we're coming up on Alderaan. No, that thing that they mentioned about Anakin having more, even more than Yoda. Micro... That thing on the cell. Luke might have a lot as well. I told you she would never consciously betray the rebellion. Terminate her immediately. So she lied about the rebel location. It's good. There's another ship coming in. Maybe they know what happened. So they are not aware of how powerful that Death Star is. There you go. Those are the fighters. That's actually the name of the, those ships. Yeah, fighters. Look at him. He's heading for that small moon. That's no moon. That's the Death Star. The space station. It's too big to be a space station. Why are we still moving towards it? The continent's right coming and it's pulling us in. There's gotta be something you can do. But there are alternatives to fighting. So they will infiltrate, yeah? Leia is here. You think they're gonna met each other? Leia and Luke? In this episode already? Possibly. Wow. Close all out port shield. Close all out port yeah. shield. But look how stunning, look how beautiful looks that place. She may yet be of some use to us. There's no one on board, sir. Jesus. According to the log, the crew abandoned ship right after takeoff. I sense something. A presence I've not felt since. You go. He's feeling a strong connection with him. Because he's no his son. Look. He's actually here. So they found a way to land and hide themselves straight away. That's crazy. There you go. Could you give us a hand with this? Everything inside is one of the whole stations. They look tight. Ready for dance in the dance floor? Here you go, yeah. Hey, this reminds me of that scene on that elevator with uh, Anakin and Obi Wan. Your destiny lies along a different path from mine. The Force will be with you always. The Force will be with you always, yeah. He knows that he's, you know, a Darth Vader's son, so. He knows better than anyone who he is capable of. What he is destined for. She's here? Princess. Where? Where is she? Princess, what's going on? I'm afraid she's scheduled to be terminated. Oh, Jesus. So, but how, how come he knows? He can detect where she is located? I'm not going anywhere. They're gonna execute her. Look, a few minutes ago he said he didn't want to just wait here to be captured. Now all you want to do is stay? She's rich. She's rich. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, huh? Lock the door. And hope they don't have blasters. This guy, the look, the actor is portraying look something Hamil, yeah? He's a great actor. Now this scene with uh, Han Solo, the discussion, you know, about Leia, was, you know, you could, you could tell uh, he is a great actor. He uh, like these, these corridors. Darkness, you know, yeah. You can tell it's a place for Darth Vader. You cannot see that much, you know, rose, blue and green around him. Everything has to be somehow dark. Prisoner transfer from cell block 1138. I wasn't notified. I'll have to clear it. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know. Ripping them apart. How come Luke is so comfortable? In a rough situation already. Who is this? What's your operating number? Uh, that one. Hey, go, brother and sister. But they have no clue about it. You, I've got your R2 unit. I'm here with Ben Kenobi. Ben Kenobi, where is he? Come on. The Jedi are extinct. Their fire has gone out of the universe. You, my friend, are all that's left of their religion. Obi Wan is here. here the Force is with him. Escape is not his plan. I must face him alone. Jesus. No, we're gonna have the confrontation already. If that's so, 
Couldn't have a fight again? If you'd like it back in your cell, your highness. He's a man always up for a fight, Harrison Ford. There isn't any other way out! Here you go. Yeah, she's brave, Princess Leia. She's a brave heart. Here you go. Might be a sofa on the other side. Deal. Put that thing away, you're gonna get us all killed! <laughs> Look, she has a big mouth. Jesus. What type of creature we're having here? Jesus! Look, yeah? Woo! I hate this sneaking, you know? Where? Anywhere! What the fuck is this creature? I wanna see. Help him! What happened? Whoa. I don't know! I got a bad feeling about this. Here you go. The walls are here you go, this is where they uh, destroy stuff. Yeah, if they don't find a way to escape this place, they will become smashed potato. Got him. Three PO. Three PO. So three PO might be able to stop that. Three PO. Come in, three PO. Three PO. Here you go. That thing is kind of like helping them somehow, being useful. Nice move, Solo. One thing's for sure, we're all gonna be a lot thinner. <laughs> oh yeah. The economy. Check out all the garbage patches on the schedule. What? Lucky bastards. I think we're gonna have the confrontation between Obi Wan and Darth Vader and Anakin, actually. You know the noises it reminds me a bit of the alien. Uh, no, wait till here! Here, you big coward. Chewie, come here. Hmm. Chewie. <laughs> we're right above you. Stand by. You hear nothing? You're braver than I thought. Nice. Come on. Acting for Harrison Ford is hilarious in this movie. Because when you think about Luke and Leia, I think about Natalie. I think about Padme, you know? But if I start thinking about Anakin or Darth Vader. Oh, that was lucky. Guys. I can't sense Darth Vader. Here you go, guys. Woo, woo, woo. We're gonna have the clash. Let's see, Obi-Wan is, is, no, is still with him. We meet again at last. Yeah. Kill that. They should have used Stuntman instead to make it better, you know? You strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Yeah, in my eyes, they could have done this scene better. This fighting sequence. There you go. That's my thoughts, you know? I'm, you know, I'm real, my friends. Jesus. No! How oh, he fucking did that? That's a new level of the force, yeah? That's something that we didn't saw on the, uh, the first three episodes. It's a new trick, new level of the force. No, man, he's not dead, my friends. I think Han Solo now will definitely accept you know, the Force when you will see uh, Obi-Wan alive again. There wasn't anything you could have done. Come on, buddy, we're not out of this yet. Come! Jeez, what a fight. Coming in too fast! So they're static and they are trying to get rid of, of these fighters by controlling the guns that this Falcon Processes. Hey, you go, yeah, come on. Yeah. I got it. Too much confidence kills you in the end. Always good to put you know, your feet in the ground. Make sure you have your feet in the ground at all times. Ow, okay. It's become a machine. War machine. That's it, we did it! We did it! I'm taking an awful risk, Vader. This had better work. What is Palpatine? He's still alive, yeah? What's so important? What's he carrying? Technical readouts of that battle station. Oh. I expect to be well paid. I'm in it for the money. You need huh. to worry about your own. <sighs> so, what do you think of her? Try and not to kill me. <laughs> that was a nice answer. What do you think about her? Uh, I'm trying not to. We are preparing to orbit the 
planet. Here you go. So the rebel base is here, in this planet. This ready planet. The battle station is heavily shielded and carries a firepower greater than half the Starfleet. A small one-man fighter should be able to penetrate the outer defense. You're required to maneuver straight down this trench and skim the surface to this point. The shaft leads directly to the reactor system. A precise hit will start a chain reaction which should destroy the station. Then man your ships and may the force be with you. Here you go. So they will do that manually. They found a way to destroy the Death Star somehow. They can blow the Death Star. Up. It has seen the end of Kenobi, and will soon see the end of the rebellion. There you go. Jesus, he hates uh, Obi Wan. Oh yeah. They could use a good pilot like you. You're turning your back on them. Attacking that battle station ain't my idea of courage. It's more like suicide. suicide. <laughs> May the force be with you. There you go. But somehow they will find each other in the future. They will join forces again. Solo will be part of the rebellion. Yeah. He's got to follow his own path. No one can choose it for him. Are you sure you can handle this shit, sir? Luke is the best bush pilot in the outer rim territories. That little droid and I have been through a lot together. You okay, R2? Tell me that's the X-Wing. No, I don't think so. Good. That's the X-Wing. Here you go. Wow. No way they could take something like this off the floor like this. No way. Death Star approaching. Death Star approaching. All wings report in. Red 10 standing by. This is it, boys. Yeah, here you go. Now we're having the X Wing the way we know it. Oh, yeah. Wow, looks good. Red 5, I'm going in. <laughs> Jesus, guys, look. These guys can take a lot of damage. Eject. I can hold it! I think, like, Death Star weakness is confronting tough enemies, but in this case, small. Really small. So somehow, uh, Luke needs to infiltrate, yeah? You can shake it. I'm on him, Luke. Stay in attack formation. That fit is out there. Controlling what? A fighter. I'll take them my That's there, uh, here you go. That's that way the uh, ship. The one leading. Wow, gonna have look. I'm pretty sure. Against Fader. Came from behind. One less X. There you go, look, come on. And there's only three remaining. Got in bad shape. Red 5, you see where you are? No sign of any. Wait, coming in point 3-5. I see them. That's the way! They made it. They made it, yeah? <laughs> but now, look, as an entrance, yeah? That's what's up. Don't worry about those fighters. I'll worry about the tower. Come on, look. Put them in their place. R2 trying to increase the power. <laughs> Guys, the intensity thriller right now. Spass. Come on, Vader. It's your son, man. Use the force, Luke. Here you go. Use the force. Let's see. Are you going to be using the force in this situation? <laughs> Jesus. R2. Come on, man. R2 was actually creation of Vader. So, technically, R2 belongs to Vader. What? Oh. Yeah, You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow it. Oh yeah, this is the beginning of friendship. <laughs> you go, you could, you could pop in, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, ow, fast, la vista. Oh yeah, so in this episode already, the Death Star is gone, for good. Come on, Vader, huh? For a long time, you don't know what it is to be in bad shape, yeah. I think you are a god. You can repair him, can't you? We'll get to work on him right away. He has like really uh, feelings for Arthur. Jesus. Like Michael Jackson jacket, you know? There you go. 
Oh, this is Valiant Bay, yeah? Yeah, this is Valiant. So they are officially, they belong now to the Rebellion crew, yeah? So they destroy the Death Star. So next episode is called the Empire Strike Back. So it means that we're gonna have the Empire trying to get vengeance against the Rebellions. So yes guys, great movie, great movie, I you know. But like I said, after watching the episode 3, you know, I think episode 3 even after watching the, you know, the episode 4, episode 3 is by, by far still my favorite, you know? It's perfect in so many ways, you know? I like the way they started this uh, this movie, you know, by even Obi-Wan being someone that he decided to hide himself, you know? Because Yoda mentioned that we will hide ourselves until the right time to come back again. Because Yoda mentioned that they uh, should hide until the right time would come so they uh, would decide to do something about uh, the Empire, you know? So this is the right time. Obi-Wan felt it when he encountered Luke again. Uh, and also uh, Leia. Leia is a really important piece for this to happen. She's the, the force behind the momentum of uh, you know, the destruction of the Empire, the Death Star, you know? So, yes. Uh, props to Leia. So Leia is the you know, the brave heart of this fourth ep episode. Because of her, she created a shake. Leia did something uh, that will start the fall of uh, the dark side. You know, basically. Also, why uh, Master Yoda has not appeared on the episode four? If I put myself on the on the seventies when this the first movie came out, I think this movie is what 1977. Yeah. So it's really an old movie. Uh, so if I put myself, uh, you know, I will go to the theater and I will be watching this movie. So so far, nobody nobody knew about Master Yoda. So she, he was not a relevant character somehow. They didn't even mention about Master Yoda. I think Obi Wan should have mentioned Master Yoda somehow. You know. Yes, I liked the the confrontation between Obi Wan and uh, Darth Vader. And you no, know, the fighting sequence. You no, know, the light saving. Uh, fight was not as tight as I think uh, they should be able to do somehow with stuntmans, you know I think they should have put more effort on that scene in my eyes Obi-Wan, uh, everybody thinks he is dead, but he is not, you know That's something that I want to know how he did it, you know So I believe now like in the, no, in the second episode, no in, the case, in this case in the fifth episode Master Yoda uh, will appear and he will uh, finally teach Luke how to be a Jedi Master, I think. Let's see when Obi-Wan will come again to the screen, if it will be in the beginning of the fifth episode, in the sixth episode, but I'm pretty sure Master Yoda will appear in the fifth episode, if I'm not mistaken. Can't wait to see like uh, how he will uh, find a way to get the most out of Luke, you know? Because Luke deserves someone that really can uh, make him uh, the best as he can, you know? Yeah, he has his father uh, blood, he has his father DNA, so if he is trained well, he will be able to be as powerful as Vader, you know? Obi-Wan is as powerful as Vader. We could see now, you know? I know that Vader has the principles of a Jedi and also has uh, the Sith powers, you know? Yes, Harrison Ford does also a uh, hilarious uh, performance with Han Solo, I think we are used to see Harrison Ford portraying uh, those, those manly characters, you know. And with Han Solo, he could play a little bit around. It could be funny. He could he brought some comedy to the table, kind of, you know. Uh, Chewbacca as well. I think we will be seeing much more of him uh, in the fifth episode. Chewbacca is very close to Master Yoda, so Chewbacca might be the one who will bring Luke. To Master Yoda, you know, because you, you could tell, I think, in the third episode, if I'm not mistaken, that Master Yoda will spend a lot of time on that planet where the Chewbacca are the main race, kind of, you know. The special effect, guys, I think if you put yourself in 1977, was on point, you know. Think about 2001 Odyssey, you know, this is 10 years afterwards, and you could see improvement, you know, better effects than uh, 2001 uh, Space Odyssey. 
the fight sequences between the fighters and this uh, X-Wing was incredible. That car ship, the way they have done, is basically the car stays static, but something on the back is going, you know, is passing by really quick so they can make the car ship look that it is actually going at a high speed, you know. I always like to understand how they, they do things, you know. This is one of the best things about being a reactor is uh, you actually pay attention to details because I want to provide you information. Even though I might not be the best, I try my best, you know. That's like what I care the most, to give my best, to make sure I pay attention to details and then we can discuss afterwards. I'm pretty sure if you are here, to this, uh, if you end up being in this stage of this video, you will listen to me saying all this and you'll be you know, commenting something. So you will sort me out my doubts, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, we could not see yet you know, Darth Vader meeting uh, Luke. I think they will met definitely on the sixth episode, but I think in the fifth we will have a glimpse of uh, them uh, clashing. So I wonder like what they're gonna tell each other, you know? Yes guys, I think I said it all. Uh, next episode will be the Empire Strikes Back, so will be Darth Vader somehow going towards the rebellion asses, trying to kick their asses. He will try to get rid of them. Hopefully we will uh, be seeing Palpatine, Lord Sidious. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he will appear on, on the first trilogy. Doesn't make sense. I don't remember like him somehow being close to death. So yeah, that's like something that I want to watch as well. But, you know, let's wait for the next uh, episode. Yes, now for real, I think I said it all. I don't keep going with this uh, you know, conclusion. Otherwise, this video will you know, be too long. As always, guys, if you like this video, press, press the like button, comment if you think, you know, I missed something. I should have paid attention to a certain point of this movie with more detail. should know something about, you know, George Lucas, the movie, the characters. You can't spoil me because I know more or less what's going to happen because this is not the first time watch. So if you, you know, spoil me about what's going to happen next movie, the sixth movie, uh, I will not bother, you know. Uh, share with your friends if you like to watch someone else reacting and watching this uh, incredible movie and the movies that I will be reacting afterwards because I will be reacting to the nine uh, episodes. And subscribe to my channel, give me a lot of energy, so keep strong, with the right moment to, to keep doing these to you guys. Yes, it's always open, all having fun, and most important of all, stay safe guys, have a good one, thank you.